Hello, my name is Joel Ababa, and I'm the Franchise King. Before I get into the eight steps to owning a profitable franchise business, I wanted to briefly tell you about myself. I am the Franchise King. I have to pick up the crown every time I do that. I know, I know. Uh, I have 20 plus years in franchising in all sorts of franchising duties. Uh, I've been uh, in franchise management. I've been a franchise broker, franchise consultant, which is uh, the same thing, by the way. Uh, I've sold franchises. I wrote a book called Become a Franchise Owner that Wiley, Wiley Publishing approached me on to write for them, and I did. It does pretty well, pretty popular. You can find it over at Amazon.com or your local bookstore. I created the Ultimate Franchise Course, which you can find at another place I created, FranchiseBusinessUniversity.com. And finally, I have a brand new product called the Franchise Success Kit, and you'll learn about that uh, much, much later. Uh, in Not in this video, but I'll share it with you in some, uh, some emails that I'll be sending you. Anyway, let's get to the eight steps to owning a profitable franchise. Step one. Now, this might be fairly obvious to, to you, but it might not be. Before you start jumping on franchise opportunity websites to find that perfect franchise or that perfect franchise, you need to figure out where you stand financially. I want you to do a financial snapshot also called a net worth statement. It's easy to do. It might take a little while to compile all the information you need to input into the net worth calculator that is conveniently located on the FranchiseKing.com. Uh, all you have to do is Google franchise and net worth calculator or free net worth calculator for a franchise and you'll and you'll find it i'll also link to it in in one of the emails that i send you anywho what is your net worth <laughs> well better question is what does it need to be first of all your net worth is the difference between your assets and liabilities all right and the worksheet uh, that i'll send you to all you have to do is add up your liabilities and your assets. You just have to kind of input them into the lines, into the blank lines, and then click calculate and it does it for you magically. Anyhow, let's get back to that, uh, that step of financials. The reason you need to do a net worth statement is to make sure that you can afford what you're looking at or what you want to look at or what you end up looking at. Here's what you need to have net worth wise at a minimum. I want to see a $350,000 net worth. That is the difference between your assets and liabilities. You need to have at least $350,000 net worth. And of that, $50,000 should be cashable. You should be able to write a check for $50,000. This, folks, is a minimum. I really want you to have about a $500,000 net worth and $100,000 of that being in cash. But it's not a perfect world. For example, if you want to look at a food franchise that is $250,000 total investment to start, you're going to need more than a $350,000 net worth in most cases. You're just going to need more cash on hand, and, you, and, and you're going to have to also float the business for a while because there's a lot of inventory, etc. I'll get into that later. Anyhow, that is the first step, and that is where to start. For the remaining seven steps to owning a profitable franchise, I'm going to send them to you via email every few days. That way you'll know exactly what to do. Finding a franchise is not that hard. Finding a profitable franchise, that's a little challenging. I'll show you exactly how you do it so you can be your own boss and be a successful franchise owner. Thanks for watching. I'm the Franchise King, Joel Lobato.